Hello everybody, I'm Russell Beck from the Academy of Modern Canine Behaviour and Training and this is Dash, we found Dash a um, harness put on him so what we're going to do now with Dash is teach him some loose lead walking I'm going to show you how to train loose lead walking with your dog so that they walk nicely to heel without dragging you down the road um, I'm going to show you a couple of ways of doing this First of all, I'm going to show you the established method that we use at the Academy, which would start with a luring, uh, a luring technique. And then we would go on from changing the lure to a reward, so the treats wouldn't be luring the dog after that. And then I'm going to show you a different way as well of teaching a dog if they're persistently in front of you and that way is failing. So, what we're going to do is start, I would have the lead in my right hand and I would want the dog on my, on my left hand side and the treats would be in my left hand also. I'm going to use a marker word with uh, dash, I'm just going to say yes every time he gets something right. So in yes would mean when I say yes his treat is coming. So that's the marker word that is going to be the click word if you like that will tell him that uh, the treat's coming. If you use a clicker, you would use the click instead of the command yes. So, here we go. Let's see if I can switch him on a little bit with the treats in my hand. And I'm just going to lure him into position. And then we're going to go from there. And I will treat him when he gives me something good. I'm not at this stage going to put a heel command or close command or anything in because he doesn't know where it is at this stage. So I'm just going to lure him a little bit. I don't mind the jumping but I'm not going to feed him for jumping. I will feed him when he walks nicely. Yes, good boy. So when he's got all four feet on the floor, yes, good lad. That's brilliant. So I've got the hand straight in the hand. My left hand, if he goes forward, I'm just going to change direction. Yes, good boy. And he's going to get fed when he gives me a right position. Good. When he's walking nicely, like this, is when I can put in the heel command. Let's bring in a heel command. So that's a good heel. Good boy. Because he's in a nice position. But we're getting, getting a bit spooked with the wind. Good boy. Dash. Good lad. Steady. Good. Good heel. Yes. Good. Well done. Go again. So he's getting a bit excited. I'm just going to turn away. Keep him in position. That's good. Good lad. That's a good heel. Yes, good boy. Excellent. So now I'm going to push him on. I know this is too quick for him to be pushed on, really. But I'm going to have the treats now in my right hand. Um, and I'm not going to have anything in my left hand, but I'm going to transfer the treats when I give him the marker word that he's in the right position, so they still come from there. So this is his target hand. Yes, good boy. So the treat gets transferred over and fed to him. So no treats in this hand. Dash. Good boy. Good. Good. That's good. Good heel. Yes, good boy. Again, the tree gets transferred and fed to the dog. Good. Good. So again, a lure hand. There's no treat in it. Good boy. Good boy. That's how I would build up, gradually asking for longer and longer between treats, so that he gives me further and further between treats as he gets more and more au fait with the command mean that when he gets more used to the command and he knows what it means more, I would ask for longer and longer between the treats and gradually build up on that. So let's assume you've got a dog that doesn't, that's not working with that method, then what I would use is I would have the, the lead then in my left hand 
but I wouldn't give him stacks of lead. The more lead you give the dog, the further they'll go and the more they'll pull anyway. So I've got the treats here. Um, I've got treats and I've got the lead in my left hand. I've got him on my left. So we're going to walk now. I would have, with this method, I would have an invisible line about 12 inches in front of me. When he crosses that invisible line before the lead goes tight is when I would correct by saying up or something and take a couple of steps backwards and then walk forwards again. So all I'm doing is marking it with up, low, stepping back. There's nothing wrong with saying no or marking when the dog is wrong, otherwise how are they going to know? If I leave it till the lead goes too tight, I've been too late in my correction. So let's see where we go. And when I'm going to reward him in this method, using this method, the reward will come like this. So, dash. So if we walk forward a little bit, when he gets it right, I would go, I think we'll come back this way, I'm going to show you that. So we we'll come around here, and we go, yes. And it would go behind him. So I would release behind. Yes, good boy. Good lad. So the treat is going behind him, getting rewarded behind, not in front. Yes. Good boy. Now when we get used to that, and he always learns that the treat are gonna, is going to come from behind, he's going to be less likely to be going forward. So remember, always throw the treat behind if you've got a dog that tends to pull you. So the correction is quite simple. If you're walking along dash, it's very preoccupied with the spell, but that's fine. Good lad. Now, when he goes forward, uh -uh, I'll just bring him back and then walk forward again. So I'll walk back a few steps and then walk forward. Boy, that's excellent. That's excellent. Yes. Good. Well done. Yes. Good boy. Good lad. So if, he, if I need to correct him, all basically I will do is walk backwards two steps. I'll mark it at that point. Uh, uh, or no, walk backwards a couple of steps and then walk forward. So all I'm doing is a continual movement of coming backwards a few steps and then going forward again. But what Dash has got to do is do a complete U-turn and then another U-turn here. So after a while he's going to get fed up with keep doing that if my correction is done at the right time and done properly. So, and the, the um, positives are coming by throwing the treats over his head when he is in the right position. Because if I've just corrected him, say from here, uh, uh, dash, and then come back, he's in the right position so I can go yes and reward at that point. So, because he happened to be in the exact right position. So keep pushing on with that, and that will help you with your loose lead walking. Thank you very much.